Mike and the team is just giving you a shout out during practice saying that you're doing a great job now. Shooting threes, but also crashing the board. Just how is that kind of marrying up to what the teams are asking you to do on a regular basis? Uh, they want to play fast, and uh, I'm, I'm fast in my position. Kind of a mismatch when it comes to bigger guys being quicker. <laughs> and it goes back to what I did in college when it comes to rebounding. And the threes are just something I'm working on and getting more comfortable with it. So I feel really comfortable in the offense and it's all just coming together. As a big man, is it surprising to be that, that comfortable with a three point shot? Uh, for me, yeah, but I don't know. Every time I talked to my mom about it, she was like, when I was little, I was on my shoot three. So she said it's full circle coming back to me. So. When you know you have a skill set and the team needs that skill set, you see that right away. They're asking you to do things They're like, that's that's my bag, that's what I do. How, how much does that encourage you to be, I belong here, I belong in the NBA because they need what I do? So oh, it's perfect. Like, it gives me so much confidence. Like I know I can play in this league and it just helps me find my niche. How different does this experience feel from what you experience in summer league where everything comes at you so fast and there's so much unfamiliarity? Um, it's, it's a lot of information I'm getting, uh, so it's really testing my mental, but being being mentally strong is working out. I mean, I mean I'm playing with the best players in the world, so like, it's way faster than summer league. There's so much things going on, but uh, when I start to get it, it just makes my game even better. Do you, when you have those moments that kind of stand out, how do you kind of, how do you kind of take that? Like, do, you, do you allow that to find joy in that or do you, yeah. you, just, you have to kind of like feel, no, I expect to do this. I mean, I just take it as a challenge. Like, uh, I got to go beat this challenge and move on to the next one. Are you spending all your time at the four in, in practice? Pretty much? Um, four and five, but mostly four. Okay. And, and just, you know, kind of where are you at in terms of uh, just trying to, to earn that roster spot and, and make the team? I know I have a lot of work to do. I mean, these dudes are good and uh, every dude that's in front of me is there for a reason. So I'm just trying to learn from them. Uh, grow and uh, I know my opportunity will come if I keep working hard. Yeah. So physically, how much have you changed since summer league or even since your senior year, your last year in college? Um, a lot actually. I lost some good weight, four or five pounds, put it back on the muscle, and then I feel faster, uh, look bigger, and uh, just I'm definitely stronger. I can bang with the big boys. So. As a, when you look at the roster, is there anybody that has a similar skill set to you, or do you feel you're kind of a unicorn on this team? Um, I feel like I'm a little bit of a unicorn because really coming up, like I was a back, back to the basket type of guy, but now I'm like expanding my game. And I feel like I have a really unique skill set. And yeah, so I think I'm, I'm a little different than these guys. We just three case tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, high motor, rebounding, and just making the right plays and being a great teammate. Are you excited to see the fans? Oh, like yes. Yeah, go, go against another team? Yeah. I'm a little nervous. You know, there'll be a lot of people for that. With your three point shooting, I know you're going to take a lot like in, in college, and now you're being asked to do that. Uh, how do you go about developing that aspect and developing the confidence to, to take those shots? Um, I was just shooting on the gun and with coaches every day. I mean, I had a lot of bad days shooting, but that's part of the game, and I feel like that's helped me grow a lot. Because when I first got here, it wasn't shooting me well, but those bad days, I just continued to shoot it and rep it out, and now it's all falling into place. Was it tweaking your shot at all, or were you trying to like get a good rhythm? Or, or uh, I tweaked it a little bit. Um, a lot of my shots were flat, so I had to get down more. And then uh, a lot of times, my palm was too much on the ball, so I was shooting like lasers. And so I figured that out. I started going in, and I started enjoying shooting on the gun more. So I just stayed there longer. Fox showed with us that the offense that, that the Kings run is complex, but as soon as you get it, you actually realize how simple it is. Yeah. How quickly have you picked up on this offense, and how comfortable are you in the offense? No, that's exactly right. I remember like the first two days, I was so confused. And like summer league, I was like, I don't know what's going on. But then, uh, <laughs> The more we practice and the more I got it, it's like really positionless unless you're the five. So it's just rotating and uh, it's all good. Was there a moment Couple where it, it clicked and you're like, oh, that makes sense? Or just slowly and surely playing it and just getting it, making it more natural? I would say like some plays it would click or like some actions uh, I understood from the jump, but then slowly as I just did it more, I started to understand it more. I imagine the whole team is a resource for you. Is there a vet or a guy who's kind of gravitated the most towards you and been in the year the most? Um, Mason. Jones helped me out a lot. Keon helped me out a lot. Uh, those are probably my top two right now. I talk to them the most. Like I play games with Keon, so we always talk about basketball and other stuff like that. How are you guys Last feeling guys. about uh, getting out there in front of the home crowd, playing a preseason game tomorrow after grinding in the practice gym for a couple of weeks? Excited. It's like it's like Christmas, man. Like can't wait to go open our presents and play in front of the fans. So we're just we're just excited and happy to see everyone tomorrow. Thank you guys.